Well, welcome everyone. Glad you're here. It is time for morning prayer here at St. Peter's. This is our busy day of our busy days. That'll make sense if you follow along with us for a while. Uh, we have a chock-a-block day full of everything here at St. Peter's. There is much going on. We have our food pantry open. We have Bible study. We have Noonday Eucharist commemorating Justin Martyr, who we're going to speak about in just a moment. And I'm making sure that we are live. Give me a moment. There we go. Not sure why we are not getting... Oh, there we are. We got captions now. Okay. Okay. There was a lag. Um, Bible study. A food pantry is open. We have a noonday Eucharist. We have meetings and pastoral care. We have preparations for our uh, soup kitchen tonight, the community supper, as well as the the corner, the, the local food pantry that we keep on site for the Wednesday night supper, evening prayer. And Lord knows we've got a couple more things to worry about and work on. So much is going on in the life of the church. Speaking of the life of the church, we are commemorating Justin Martyr. But before we get to that, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. If you have intercessions and are following us on Facebook and joining us live for this broadcast, then please do put them in the comments in the live chat. We'll make sure they get offered at the end of the service. If you have intercessions you would like to offer up, we monitor the remarks in both Facebook and on YouTube and our YouTube channel to make sure that we maintain a connection to you personally as we welcome you home to St. Peter's and invite you into prayer. We are remembering Justin Martyr today. He was born around 100, uh, probably in the region of Nablus, which is now in Syria, and uh, referred to himself as a Sumerian. His grandfather uh, and father, probably they were pagans. Um, his grandfather had a Greek name. His father had a Latin name. It is presumed that it is that it is likely his family settled in the Nablus region as a result of being a, on a diplomatic team, a diplomatic mission to that area on behalf of the Roman Empire. He was trained from an early age in rhetoric and in philosophy and uh, we were just talking before the service. He was probably the original church shopper because he visited a number of philosophers and philosophies looking for his path in life, could not find it. One philosopher famously in his apologies, he notes, uh, was more interested in his check and his payment than he was in teaching. <laughs> yes. Another uh, who he eventually landed with the Platonists, with the followers of Plato and Socrates, because he was caught by the idea of looking for the real in the midst of the hidden. Um, the interesting thing about that is that he was uh, caught by the idea and realized that by the time he got to the end of the idea, there wasn't really anything there. The story goes that he met an old, reasoned, fisherman wanderer who was from the Sumerian region who uh, told him about Jesus Christ, uh, described that thought theology to him, and he found in that theology the philosophy he was looking for, became a passionate uh, apologist, one who speaks and explains the life of Christ to others like an evangelist, and uh, was eventually uh followed by a number of people and called out by the authorities who demanded that he make sacrifice to the emperor. And he said, I will not. Well, we're going to kill you. He says, well, we can't wait to suffer uh, or offer our witness, our martyrdom to Christ uh, in the face of that. We would rather suffer pain and death than to submit ourselves to a pagan god. Uh, so uh, we remember Justin Martyr. He wrote vociferously. Unfortunately, only three of his uh, works really remain a letter and a couple of his apologies. The apologies of Justin Martyr are really worth the read. So if you're feeling like you are into a little patristic scholarship today um, because the sun isn't out, dig it up on the Internet. I'm sure there's a copy available to you. You can check it out. For now, please include your likes and subscribes, hit the bells for notifications and all those bits, but join us for morning prayer this morning. Here we go. On this day, the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. 
My brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. The sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the antiphon and invitatory. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Psalms 101 and 109, I'll offer the odd. Please respond with the even. I will sing of loyalty and of justice. To you, O Lord, I will sing. I will study the way that is blameless. When shall I attain it? I will walk with integrity of heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes anything that is base. I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. Perverseness of heart, heart shall, shall, not, shall be far from me. I will, I know, will know nothing, nothing of evil. evil. One who secretly slanders a neighbor, I will destroy. A haughty look and an arrogant heart, I will not tolerate. I will look, I will with, look favor with favor on, on the faithful, faithful in, in the land, land so, so that they, they may live, live with, me. with me. Whoever, Whoever walks, walks in the in way, way that, that is blameless, blameless Shall minister, shall minister to, me. to me. No one who practices deceit shall remain in my house. No one who utters lies shall continue in my presence. Morning, morning by morning, morning, I will, I will destroy, destroy all, all the, the wicked, wicked in the land, in the land cutting, off cutting off all, all evildoers from, from the, the city, city of, the Lord. of the Lord. Do not be silent, O God of my praise. For wicked and deceitful mouths are opened against me. Speaking, Speaking against, against me with, with lying, lying tongues, tongues they, beset they beset me with, me with words, words of hate, hate and attack and me, attack me without, without cause. In return for my love, they accuse me, even while I make prayer for them. So they Does reward, they reward, me, reward evil me evil for, for good, good and, and hatred, hatred for my love. For my love. They say, appoint a wicked man against him. Let an accuser stand on his right. When he, when is, he is tried, tried let, let him be found him guilty. guilty. Let, let his, his prayer be counted, counted as sin. May his days be few. May another see his position. <laughs> may, may his children, children be orphans, orphans and, and his, his wife a widow. May his children wander about and beg. May they be driven out of the ruins they inhabit. May the creditor seize all that he has. May strangers plunder the few fruits of his toil. May there be no one to do him a kindness, 
nor anyone to pity his orphaned children. May his posterity be cut off. May his name, May his name be, blotted be blotted out, out in the second in generation. generation. May the iniquity of his father be remembered before the Lord, and do not let the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before, before the, Lord the Lord continually, continually and may, and may his, his memory be cut off from the earth. earth. For he did not remember to show kindness, but pursued the poor and needy and the brokenhearted to their death. He loved to curse. He loved to curse. Let curses, curses come, come on, him. on him. He, he did, did not like blessings. Blessing. May, it, may be it be far from him. Far from him. He clothed himself with cursing as his coat. May it soak into his body like water, like oil into his bones. May it be, May it be like, like a garment, garment that, that he wraps he around, around himself, himself, like a, like belt, a belt that, that he, wears he wears every day. Every day. May there, that be the reward of my accusers from the Lord, of those who speak evil against my life. But you, O oh Lord, oh Lord, my Lord, my Lord, act on act my on behalf, behalf for your, your namesake. Because, because your steadfast, your steadfast love, love is good, good deliver, me. deliver me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is pierced within me. I am gone, I am gone like, like a shadow, shadow at, at evening. evening. I am, I am shaken, shaken off, off like, a, like locust. a locust. My knees are weak through fasting. My body has become gaunt. I am an, I am object, an object of scorn, scorn to my to accusers. My accusers. When, when they, they see me, they shake, shake their, their heads. heads. Help me, O oh Lord my God. Save me according to your steadfast love. Let, Let them, them know, know that this that is your hand. hand. You, O oh oh Lord, Lord, have done it. Let them curse, but you will bless. Let my assailants be put to shame. May your servant be glad. May, May my, my accusers, accusers be clothed with dishonor. dishonor. May they be, May wrapped, be wrapped in their, in their own, own shame, shame as a mantle. With my mouth, I will give great thanks to the Lord. I will praise him in the midst of the throng. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, the branch of the Lord shall be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the land shall be the pride and glory of the survivors of Israel. Whoever is left in Zion and remains in Jerusalem will be called holy. Everyone who has been recorded for life in Jerusalem, once the Lord has washed away the filth the daughters of Zion, and cleansed the bloodstains of Jerusalem from its midst by a spirit of judgment and by a spirit of burning. Then the Lord will create over the whole site of Mount Zion and over its places of assembly a cloud by day and smoke and the shining of a flaming fire by night. Indeed, over all the glory there will be a canopy. It will serve as a pavilion a shade by day from the heat, and a refuge and a shelter from the storm and rain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle, the Song of Moses, together. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. Horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God, and I will praise him the God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The chariots of Pharaoh, the finest of those who bear armor, have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand. 
the earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession. The resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord. The sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the church in Ephesus. I, therefore, the prisoner in the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. But each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it is said, when he ascended on high, he made captivity itself a captive. He gave gifts to his people. When it says he ascended, what does it mean? But that he also descended into the lower parts of the earth. He who descended is the same one who ascended far above all the heavens so that he might fill all things. The gifts he gave were, this, were that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers to equip the saints for work of ministry for building up the body of Christ until all of us come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the son of God to maturity, to the measure of the full stature of Christ. We must no longer be children tossed to and fro and blown about by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery, by their craftiness and deceitful scheming. But speaking the truth in love, we must grow in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and knit together by every ligament which, was the, which it is equipped, as each part is working properly, promotes the body's growth in building itself up in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle this morning is the Te Deum, together. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant, and grant us, your us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let, Let your, your people, people sing with joy. Sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For, For only, only in you, you can, can we, we live, live in safety. safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide, and guide us, us in the way, in of, the justice way of justice and truth. and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your, your saving, saving health among, all, among nations. all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope, Nor of, the the hope poor. of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain, and sustain us, us with, with your, your Holy Spirit. Spirit. A God who has given your church wisdom and revealed to it deep and secret things, grant that we, like your servant Justin, and in union with his prayers, may find your word an abiding refuge all the days of our lives, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretch out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Please join me in a prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I welcome your intercessions and thanksgivings. We pray for Corinne's continued healing. Pray for Bev as she awaits word of the scheduled surgery. Pray for those to be baptized this coming Sunday here at St. Peter's, Jose and Luana. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Diocese of Lusaka, the Church of the Province of Central Africa. In the Diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for the Reverends Dr. Ellie Brown, J. Patrick Hunt, Bernard McGuire, J.R. Nelson and Agostino Rivolta. Grant to God that your holy and life-giving spirit that may so move every human heart, then especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. 
Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us for morning prayer. Nancy, you're going to love the smells of dinner tonight. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, I was in I was in last night and Doug Wilson was in cooking. It's a turkey meatball, but in a sweet and sour sauce that literally was redolent throughout the parish hall. So oh, wow. You please join us and uh, we look forward to seeing you. Um, Abby and Corinne, thank you for joining us for uh, virtual morning prayer. And uh, we look forward to seeing you at five o'clock for evening prayer. Um, so please do join us for that. If you are watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Your thumbs up always improves our algorithms, and we appreciate that as we seek to spread the word of Christ out there in the interwebs. As well, if you're watching on Facebook, do follow us and get notifications when we are live or posting content, which is pretty much every day when we are on form. And it feels like we're on form today. So we're breaking for a moment and getting ready for our uh, Bible study. We will see you at noon for Eucharist on Facebook Live and then later on YouTube as we post it. And of course, we look forward to seeing you throughout the week. Please do join us as we make our way in Christ and we seek to welcome you home in the waning days of Easter tide as we get ready for Pentecost with Sunday and then get ready for Trinity Sunday and the season after Pentecost. The seasons are shifting, even as the colors change in the church. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.